In this problem, we want to analyze an electric water heater. What does it do? It heats up water in a steady flow manner, in a steady state manner, from state one to state two, uh, while consuming electricity. We have to find the electrical power consumption, also the energetic efficiency of this device. A bunch of information about the exit state and the inlet state are given. Uh, the inlet state temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. However, however, they told us to assume no pressure loss. Therefore, pressure must be same 150 kPa in both the states. So in the energy analysis, we know that it's a steady state. There is no rate of change of energy in this case. The inlet flow energy, which is called J1 dot in this case, can be calculated from the information given. Similarly, J2 dot can be calculated. Q dot is given to us, and therefore we can calculate external power transfer. The energetic efficiency is the desired, uh, the desired quantity is the gain in the energy as the water passes through the heater, divided by what we pay for, which is uh, electrical, you know, the power delivered by electricity or power consumed. So this will give us the energetic efficiency. For more information on a steady, steady state analysis of open devices, uh, this is covered, is, is, that's covered in chapter four or module four uh, in your textbook and also uh, in, in all, all, sorts of, uh, all sorts of modules in the test. So let's go to test and launch the appropriate app to solve this problem. So I have already logged in here as a student. So we go to the test step tab and let me see if I can get a pen out. There we go. So system analysis begins there in that branch, open system, open steady system, uh, and then, oops, if we go to generic branch, let me wipe this out so that I can browse down. And you can see that finally, uh, this branch leads to generic leads to single flow systems. If I click there, the choices become <coughs> what model we are supposed to pick. And in this case, it's given water liquid, remains liquid in the water heater. So SL model is the best model. Finally, the leftmost tab launches the app. First thing first, we will enter the given information in the I.O. panel. So we'll write down what are, what are known about. So given values are, for instance, the pressure is given P in KPA equal 150 because pressure doesn't change. Uh, similarly, all the information that is that are given, I have compiled here, pressure, temperature, etc. But first thing first, this variable don't mean anything to the app until we click the calculate button, either here or there, doesn't matter. Then what happens is that, let me expand this, all the, all the values have, have been registered, and so therefore these values, these variables can be used in any given panel. So pressure, for instance, we can write equal P1, P KPA. If we do a calculate, you can see that that value is picked up. <coughs> Similarly, we can go and put uh, the inlet temperature in degrees Celsius, which is equals T inlet in degree C. If we do a calculate here, you can see that that value is picked up. The green means everything is okay. And you can move the pointer over the variable to make sure the value appears in this, in this space the correct value appears there. So if you continue doing that, uh, I've already done that here in this particular tab. So state two, I have calculated from T exit degree Celsius and P2 doesn't change, P1 equals P2. M dot, I also have uh, put M dot two equals M dot one because mass flow rate doesn't change. So therefore state one and state two have been calculated. If I go to the IO panel now, we can start calculating what's wanted in the problem. Part A is about 
uh, find power consumption. And by the way, I have already, I forgot to mention that after the states are calculated, calculated in the device panel, I have loaded state one and state two at the, as the inlet and exit state and <coughs> put uh, surrounding temperature in degrees Celsius as TD1 and Q.1, notice what I've done, uh, the, the heat loss was given to us, so I entered that as a positive quantity. Q, Q dot loss in kilowatt is 2 kilowatt. Loss itself tells us the direction it is getting lost. So to enter that as Q dot 1, which must be abiding the sign convention, wind hip, so heat in is positive, heat is being lost, so it should be negative uh, 2 kilowatt. So again, if you move the pointer over, you can see the value picked up is minus 2 because I put the negative sign in front. And then after I calculate, produce the power transfer, which is negative because work is going in. So if I want to know the power consumption in kilowatt, in kilowatt, it is simply negative 1 times W dot EXT 1. Notice that W dot external is, of course, an algebraic quantity which is negative in this case so I multiply by neg negative 1 to get a positive power consumption because consumption tells us the direction in which the power is going. We, we don't want to say the power consumption is negative in this case, we'll say power consumption is this much. Alright, so the answer has been found uh, and it will be 40.2 uh, uh, kilowatt. Uh, in, in a very similar way we calculate uh, the efficiency, uh, th as I said, is that the first for that we calculate the J dot. Notice the J dot is the desired J dot desired is J two minus J one times M dot one, and therefore the efficiency is this divided by the power consumed. Uh, well, I'm calling it W dot required. Uh, we could write down power consumed here. And finally, the entropy generation rate is simply as dot J N one calculated in the device panel. So we can do a super calculate just to make sure everything is in this panel. You can see the entire test code. These are the test code that we produced, uh, and these are the given values. And finally, at the bottom, we have calculated different values that are asked for.